Hi everybody and welcome to McKenna Mason's Experience Center for our webinar event on machine data collection. My name is Andrew Helt. I'm the Director of Software Engineering at McKenna and I'm here today to talk to you about our new software product, the McKenna Data Collector. So in our market recently, we've been seeing an increase from our customers in IIoT. They've been looking for ways to improve the functionality of their existing Makino equipment. Everything is so competitive out there in the industry that they're turning to the data to find ways they can improve their processing. So while Makino has our, our own suite of software products that can analyze data for them, our customers already have a lot of third-party systems internal to their shop. So Makino needed to come up with a way that we could easily hook our Makino machines into these third-party systems. Our solution for that was the data collector. The data collector is able to connect, connect and collect data from all Makino machine controls. Data is collected, formatted, and published via a protocol called MQTT. This data goes to an MQTT broker where third-party software systems can subscribe to the data points that they want and start receiving data. So it's important to note that the data collector does not save any of this data historically. It also does not present any of the information. It's only there to make the data easily accessible for your already installed third-party software system. So the data collector can read a pretty wide range of data items from the control. For your milling machines, it can read things like the program and the comment, your feeds, speeds, overrides, tool data, spindle load, axes load information. And for your EDMs, it has a more specific data set tailored towards them. Things including voltage, current, conductivity, your wire diameter, and your machining depth. Our customers also have the capability to customize the software to add additional data points that they may want. Customers can add PMC bits on the milling machines and also track macro variable as data points in the data collector. So one question I get frequently from our customers is why not just connect Makino machines with a FANUC focus connection? So the Makino data collector has an advantage over FANUC focus. We're able to access additional information that a FANUC connection can't get. Things like your tool data on all the milling machines, your lengths and your life values, your preventative maintenance data on some of our newer milling controls, motion time monitoring data, which watches the timing of your tool changer, your pallet changer, spindle clamp, and Makino specific alarms, notably in the cell controller space. Another question I get is, what third-party systems can you connect to? So with our existing customer base, we've connected to three different systems, Kepware, Ignition, and Grafana. But while we've only connected to these three, we know the data collector can support any software that can accept MQTT data. A couple others that are out there on the market are things like Memex Merlin and 4CAM. And now I'd like to take you out to Makino's Integration Bay, our showroom in Makino Mason, and do a live demo on our A500Z machine, which is a five-axis horizontal machine. What you'll see here is on the left side of the screen, we'll show the data collector publishing data to MQTT Explorer. On the right side of the screen, you'll see one of the third-party software systems we talked about, Ignition, where I've implemented a live demo connecting the two systems. Overall, to get this demo started, it took about 30 minutes to install the data collector and an additional 30 minutes to make this simple interface in Ignition. Now that we're out at our A500Z machine, I'll start my NC program to get us some live data. If you watch on the left side in MQTT Explorer, you'll see the spindle speed just increased to 9,000 RPMs, as well as in Ignition. If you pay attention to the load, you'll see it's hovering around 2.5% in MQTT, but in Ignition, it's staying at zero. We'll come back to this issue later. 
Now let's check some of the other data that we're receiving. If we want to take a look at our axis positions, we can click the coordinates topic and see that our absolute positions are moving in MQTT and ignition. For additional data, we can see the result topic where our overrides, our feed rate, our mode, our execution status, and other data points are contained. Now if we focus on ignition for a second here and we make the window full screen, in the bottom left corner you'll see the Tag Explorer. In here is a display of all the MQTT tags that we're reading from the data collector. So if we go back to our issue with the spindle load, we can find the spindle load tag on the screen, click it, drag it, and drop it into the label that, where we want the data to be shown. Once that's complete, you'll see the data updating live just as it was in MQTT Explorer. Now let's head back to the Experience Center and continue our discussion on the data collector. The data collector is currently for sale on all Makino control types. The data collector also has the ability to connect with FANUC-based controls from other machine tool builders. At the time of this taping, there were 11 different customers connected with 156 different machines, ranging from milling and EDM controls. I'd now like to open it up to a Q&A session. If you look in the top right corner of your screen, you'll see a Q&A button. If you type in your question there, our moderator will read them out and will answer as many as time permits. Hi, everybody. So the, the first question we received in the chat um, was about use cases. Do we have some examples of where we've installed the data collector in the field? Um, and this actually lines up pretty well with the presentation I made for our trade show coming up in two weeks in Auburn Hills. Um, so I'll pull up some slides and walk through some of those use cases. Uh, so we'll walk through three of them. Uh, the first one was a customer wanted Makino machines to report pool information so they could help track their pool life. This customer had 34 different machines in, a, in six different machining cells. Um, so what we did was we installed multiple data collectors, one on each cell that was responsible for collecting data for the machines in those cells. And then those six data collectors would all publish data into Ignition. So the customer then was able to work with Ignition and set up email alerts for their tool life. So when it came to this installation, each cell took about one hour to get the software installed and all machines connected. That includes setting parameters on the machines and getting all of the prereqs and software installed. So here you'll see a, a pictorial view of, of the setup we had at this specific customer where we had different data collectors running on each cell PC, spreading the load about from machine connectivity and publishing data into Ignition. Our next example uh, was a customer that wanted to track machine utilization and build their own dashboard to show OEE. This customer had 51 Makino machines in 12 different robot automation cells. They wanted the data published into Kepware so that their third party system could read from there. So again, each cell took about one hour to get the software installed and all machines connected. So as we look at this diagram, though, you'll see a major difference is we had one server PC running the data collector. This data collector is currently connected to all 51 machines on that one PC. This really sped up the installation process as we did it in one location and we're able to connect all the machines. Kepware has one place to connect to and is able to pull data in. And the last use case that we'll talk about is a customer that wanted to track their part serial number and relate that, that serial number to specific machine data. So they had six Pro5 machines in one cell and they requested Makino add a barcode scanner to collect the, the part serial number. So instead of running on a central PC, 
we added a DIN rail PC to each machine where we could tie in the barcode scanner with the data collector. So as you'll see here, the data collector and barcode scanner are running inside of the machine control on that DIN rail PC. It collects the data and publishes it out via MQTT to a central server PC that's running Ignition. This allowed the customer to build their own database and track the serial number of the part with all of their feeds, speeds, overrides, and alarm information. So if there's any other questions, feel free to type them in now. So thank you everybody for attending today. Um, if you have any further questions after the meeting or would like to set up a, a personalized demo of the data collector, feel free to reach out to your salesperson or send an email to webmaster at and we'll get you connected with the right people. Also, we'll have the data collector running at our tech expo in Auburn Hills, Michigan, April 23rd to 25th with 22 different Makino machines connected. And I'll be up there presenting and explaining the data collector. Hope to see you there.